Welcome to the Investor Impact, Power Talks with Vinny Chopra, where investors gather to share their insights and strategies in the world of multifamily, real estate, and beyond. Get ready to be inspired and equipped for your next level of success. I wanted to really start the business of investing in real estate, but guess what? I had zero money, zero money at all. Hey there, this is Vinny Chopra. Actually, I came from India with $7 in my pocket and I wanted to really start the business of investing in real estate. But guess what? I had zero money, zero money at all. I mean, you know, to invest in. So that's when I was getting sick and tired of my W-2 job and I wanted to start working for me so that I can get, you know, financial freedom. And I know you might be looking into that also. But how I did that was by pooling the money together from different investors. It's called syndication. I started with one investor and now I have a list of 370 investors and I started from a duplex of two units, duplex, to $440 million in business, in business. And actually you could get that all from this book I wrote, you know, this apartment syndication made easy. You could get a free copy of that by going to VC freebook.com vcfreebook.com and you'll be able to get all the tricks and all the strategies that it took me to be able to go from zero money literally zero money i had left my job and also now able to you know uh, do all the syndications and purchase a lot of apartment complexes and things like that so please click the link below in the my bio so that you could get this free book which is at vcfreebook.com hey i am so glad we are doing this together lewis brother we do some mastermind tuesday mornings today is tuesday and i call it bajrang bali day i'm a big believer i'm a god fearing person I really am. I grew up, Louis. I don't know if I told you, in India. It was the special. Yeah. And I said, okay, I need to worship a God who is full of strength. And our God, Hanumanji, actually we call him, he is very strong. He even lifted like a whole mountain in his hand and brought oh, it. Wow. Like he flew with the mountain. It's amazing. The story goes. And uh, so I said, I'm going to really be a uh, worship him. <clears throat> and I chant his Hanuman Chalisa every morning. I've been doing it for from like maybe five, six years of age onward. <laughs> oh, wow. How are you? What are you doing, brother? Oh, uh, uh, I'm doing much better. We got the chance on, on Sunday. We arranged the meditation at the beach. Oh, good. And so good. we were there. Yeah, so it was a big, big group of people because you always feel the energy. When, whenever I started, you know, pray, you could call it praying, you could call it meditation. But at the end of the day, yes. the goal is to be able to connect to source. And I've had yes. some really great experiences especially with being sick right and being ill and so that's why yeah um, yeah we believe in that power so on sunday we went and it was really good because you could feel the energy especially when it's multiple people that are providing the same frequency the same energy and and it was really nice and we got to talk with my mom was just sharing a lot of more of what's on her mind, what's been on yes. her mind. It's very emotional conversations, but I think it brings us together more to more closer because my family's pretty close. It brings us closer as a unit. And that's what I've been very impressed. Let me say that, Lewis, and I love us meeting every week because the kind of person you are. And we all go through hardships in life. We all do. 
my family has gone through big major hardships and I don't talk about it much, but I think everybody in this world goes through hardships. It's how we take it, how we resort to faith and who we belong to. And like you said, the only way is when you go to the bottom of the bottom, there's no bottom. And then you start moving up and we can build ourselves together. And as the new person emerges, that's a better person, I see. Do you believe in that? Yes, 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 I do. I do believe in it. And mm. I think starting my days with consistently in my, being in my mind about it, because of course, I can go throughout my day and a thought crosses my mind that may not be mm. productive. And at the time, I am, I'm aware, I'm aware. Yeah. And it takes this, the strength to be able to switch that, to be able to transform that. Because, because yeah, we, at the end of the day, we have control and it, it, this stuff is not foreign to me because I've been in a place where I would like to get up really early in the morning. I love <clears throat> what I'm doing, like every single second of the day. That's what yeah. I'm on track to getting back to so yeah that's definitely what i believe in and what my family believes in too but it's obviously when the challenges appear and they're right in front of your face now it's a matter of really applying it and and it tests you it this is when it tests you the most you're so right we are tested every day we are tested not every moment but i think you're so right it's what we are made of, we find out quite a bit. Like yesterday was a very bad day. A lot of things were going wrong. A lot of things were just not happening. And the whole uh, digital presence and what we are putting out there, is it of value and not of value? My courses, my coaching, <clears throat> I was just, and then investors, <laughs> all those things, right? Then yeah. you just buckle down and see, okay, what's the right thing to do? Who to seek out? I think that's where the calling is. In my case, just yesterday I said, you know what, Vinny, you got to invest money so that you could really get back to lead generation. And good, solid leads is the key to success. And then Bo, Bo he sent me yeah. personal branding. Rory Vaden's video this morning. Boy, his interview with Omar. Omar is doing really well as on the YouTube and personal branding. And Rory Vaden, I've known him for 25 years. 25 or so years. Oh, wow. And AJ, yeah, I've known both of them for that long. They used to work with the same company that I worked with. It was one of the, like I was working with a company that had six other companies maybe. And it was one of the, one of those companies they started. But anyway, I think the calling comes when you are down deep in the shit. <laughs> I don't like to use the word shit that much, but when you are uh -huh. down there, then God, that's what we're talking about today. Almighty God, reaches out to you and find solutions for you. Oh my gosh, yes. I just can't yes. tell you. This morning, when uh, Bo sent me that, I already texted Rory and AJ, and then they had done, Kristen from their team, who I know very well, she had made, did an interview with me, not only interview how they could help my business last year. <laughs> yeah. And I just connected today just to see what can be happening in where I am now, which is the mind boggling how within 24 hours or 12 hours, yeah, 18 hours, all this has transpired because I was just so much thinking, what should I do? You know what I mean? You were seeking out solutions. <clears throat> I was seeking out in the universe. But I not never yeah. thought about Rory and AJ. And it just dawned on me when Bo gave me 5 o'clock or 5.30, whatever, time when he goes to exercise. He and I do the show together Fridays 
Winnie and Bo show for many years. We have been doing it. And we love catching up one hour and we record it and we give out our hacks and digital things that are happening and the, how to grow our businesses and all just casual talk and hacks. <clears throat> and he's the one who inspired me this morning by sending that video. Holy cow. So I think intention, when you are really focusing on certain things, I really believe law of attraction works in your favor. And if you send those signals out so much, like last yesterday, I even called Bo yesterday afternoon. I said, I'm just a little bit disgruntled. I'm not happy. I'm just, today has been a really tough day. Bo, I just feel like I need to hire a content creator. I think that's what I texted him. Content creator for social media who can really put me to a very high level. And here is the calling, personal branding friends, Rory and AJ came in my books this morning. I texted them. So let's see where it goes from there. And so on. Anyway, please go ahead. Go ahead. What are wow. your struggles? What are your struggles wow. at this time? That's, well, one, that's really cool because Yesterday, my dad was reading the book, Law of Attraction, right? And, and then we were having a conversation too. And one of the excerpts from there that we were, we were having a conversation about, he was telling me, was that everything, how exactly what you said, being able to just have that intention, but yeah. and be intentional about each segment and each phase that you go through. Like, so for example... Yeah. Like me, what, like waking up, what I'm um, trading, and energy is there, right? That's one segment. Next segment could be, okay, Vinny and I are going to jump on a call and have that and treat it as each in sector to have the best possible experience from yes. all of it. Because yesterday, it's funny because yesterday too, I was having a very difficult time, like literally all day from the morning. I woke up probably around 5 almost something in the morning and I went to sleep probably around a little bit over midnight and so it was a long day but in the mm -hmm. whole day it was very challenging I was having issues with technology because one the number one thing that I was working on yesterday was the bot I sent like a, a clip on it as well you and did you a did developer and so one of that was one of the biggest issues but I tell myself because I'm seeing time time passes and to me i start getting anxious because i'm like i treat time as very limited just just to the, the position that i'm in because i'm like okay i, I want to be able to get to i know it's going to happen it's just having patience but i want it to happen now and yeah. i don't and whenever you want to speed up anything especially when it comes to the quality of what you're creating right yeah yes. um, you really don't have the best results there right so for me it was that was one of the biggest challenges and but it was really good because i was able to calm myself i was uh -huh. able to get it together during those moments so that was one of the biggest things that from yesterday and the other thing is just you know like bills that are surprising from like the doctor like yesterday um yeah. they were calling my parents one bill was able to have be resolved but then the other one and it's where we have all these like doctor visits and of course that comes with more expenses and it's, yeah. that's also a little bit challenging but in the sure. past we have these conversations too where we don't know what happens like money just comes out of nowhere so for, for it's it's something that has happened before where oh we don't know how we're gonna be able to make it through this and it's we're like really at the limit really don't have any other resource and then something uh, happens and we are we're okay this is very important what you just covered man i really i know some people in my circle who are struggling when their leads have dried up or some of their clients have not paid them to be truthful yeah they did the work, but uh, they said they will pay. <clears throat> they just paid the very first payment. 
and after their work is done, haven't paid the rest. There are people like that, and maybe the uh, client is struggling too. So those are really, uh, with this trying time, and I know stock market is down this morning. Holy cow, I'm looking at all that. The thing is, uh, we are tried in every walk of life, and especially financially, when the financials are not right, when the money's not there, then it just puts lots of pressure on the bread earner. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. And I never really had that experience in my life. My, my parents have always supported my sister and I when, like, literally all the way to call all the way to college i only had one job and that was because my parents were always tell us you focus on school and we'll go ahead and take care of everything so you don't have to worry about it so i never felt the pressure of money and i didn't even know what type of financial situation my family was in i never perceived anything was missing i i always thought that my family was fine my family was good And then in college, that's when I started entrepreneurship. I got into business. I started making my own money and years went by and I did really well there and I had this money. So I never felt what it was like. I only saw other people. I would hear about people who had financial struggles. So my perception was very different. And then now, later in life, now I'm now 30 years old and I feel, oh man, I had, I I feel like I had this whole life that Mm -hmm. was very different. That was very different to where I was very accomplished. I I did all these things, but Mm -hmm. that's still my identity. I could go back to that because I created that version of me. And so finding that now. And you were successful and you were quite successful at it. You had reached a peak and you were making good money. And the success, I always say, is not the end result. It's the journey, what we become and how we accomplish it. But then you could go down in a day. Things are just so much outside. You have to be careful. <laughs> it's been very trying time for lots of people in my circle, in the health-wise, money-wise, income-wise, job-wise. It's just mind-boggling how the economic shifts can bring you down. Yeah, yeah. The, and that's why I would like to, being in the space of finance, I always wanted to help other people because I knew sure. that if people weren't, ha- weren't stressed financially, then they could focus on other aspects of their life, like their health, because yep. a lot of the problems come from the lack of finances. So, 100%, 100%, majority of the stresses, strains, and all the relationship going down, and uh, all those, the, the unhappiness, I call it, right, comes with poor finances or when the uh, we are not able to do as best yeah. as we should do for the family, for the children, for ourselves. That's so important, so important. So how do you come out of it? What have you come to realization? Yeah, so one thing that I have come out from it is, number one, having, do not get lazy with the way that I feel emotionally, my state of being, right? Because I have control of my, I have control over my state of being. I know who I am. I know who I'm capable of. And number one is that, right? Constantly reminding myself, who who am I? What am I capable of doing? Because when I have been in that state of mind where I didn't feel like I was missing this, I was missing that, I have yeah. clarity of mind to pursue my objectives. And <laughs> that's the number one thing uh, I would say for me has been just mindset above everything. Mm-hmm. Mindset. Uh, no, the other is having a good balance between doing work and also spending time with my family because another thing is of course if I want to focus on developing my projects that will help my family thrive then but then at the same time I could be working there and then for example my my parents don't know 
the type of work that we do, right? So it's so they could just be used to me being home or my sister being home. And when <clears throat> they need help with something, they call us and that yeah. automatically throws us out of concentration, right? And we lose our focus. Now that's you that's hit the nail. Job, but... You hit the nail. Let's just yeah. stay right there, Louis. So many distractions yes. come every day in your life and mine and everybody watching or listening to us if we do a podcast of this one or whatever or video to share with people that we are humans, right? We all are humans and how can we really get clarity? I love the word clarity you just said. Clarity of purpose, who we are, where we are going because we don't get there overnight, right? We go up, success comes after many failures. And I think by having, when we are adjusting ourselves or we are faced with some downward trend, let's say that, it's good to clarify what's wrong with the system and how, and you just said something else too, which makes a big difference. We are the ones in the center of it. So by mindset and changing and clarifying, what we need to do is so important. 100%. It, 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 because we are the, we're able to create. We have the ability to do that, right? We have the ability to move. We have the ability to think. And yeah. it's, I, I think like, whenever you're going through those times, it makes it tough to be grateful. We have so much to be grateful for still. Like I have a roof over my head. We have food to eat. My, my family is, is with me, we're alive. And yes. as, as long as there is that connection and everything, why not think bigger? Why not think of the, the possibilities? Because we know that there's been another human being on this planet who has possibly gone through the same thing or, or maybe even worse than us, right? And worse? if they have, been, they have been able to get out on the other end, why, why, cannot, why, why can't we do that too? That's all for this episode of The Investor Impact. Stay tuned for the next episode and don't miss out on the opportunity to learn and grow alongside this powerful inner circle.